Good evening, peeps. My name is Scripps, and welcome back to Terraria. Look, we're actually in the game now. Isn't that a weird, suspicious wonder? Uh, we always usually start out at the intro screen, but I thought, you know what, why? There's not really any reason to, so I'm already here. Uh, we're in the game, and now we're sort of at the precipice of where things start to get really, really hard, because we've defeated all three mechanical bosses, which I actually didn't think I would get done so quickly. But due to the amazing mount that is not called the Black Dot, is it even called the Black Dot? Hold on. It's not called the Black... Yeah, it's called the Black Spot, but I kept calling it the, the, the Black Dot. But this amazing mount basically carried me all the way through early game hard mode. And now we're reaching some pretty, uh, some pretty tough stuff, because the only boss that really awaits us in the very near horizon is Plantera and we're gonna have a little bit of trouble with them. And I haven't really prepared that much between this episode and the last. I haven't even gotten more potions, but there are a few tedious things that I sort of got sorted out before we started the episode. First of all, I actually finally went out actively looking for a sharpening station. Oh my god, that thing was hard to get. I, I kept watching YouTubers telling me, oh, it's an easy common thing to find. But no, it's not, lying bastards. This thing was incredibly hard to get, and it was insanely rare. I just couldn't find it in any of the freaking dungeons I'd already- or any of the small little uh, mining areas I'd already been to, so I actually had to go looking around all over the place, but I got it, and I also got a slice of cake, which is apparently very useful. No one told me about this thing, but you get it when you interact with a party girl when a party starts, uh, and then you get a slice of cake, and it gives you a 20% like movement speed debuff for two minutes, uh, and even mining speed and stuff, and it's like usable forever, I think? So, it's kind of weird because I, I sort of have all these power items, but I don't really know, should I keep them on me? They seem actually sort of practical to have around me, uh, because I can just plop them down and then use them to get a free buff. So, I don't know, I'm not really, like, lacking space right now, I even got my dangerous pickaxe axe now, uh, with, which is also why I have all the different souls in my inventory, I had to craft that, I needed all the different souls. Ow! How can I have hollow armor, like one of the strongest armors available to me, and a green slime still freaking quad cuts my health? <sighs> Master mode is brutal. Okay, but yeah, I got my pickaxe axe, so now I actually also threw my away my regular pickaxe and my, my axe, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. But now we need to head towards my least favorite area in the entire game, which is arguably the jungle. Hard mode jungle sucks ass, there's so many things that can kill you, and if you're not a ranged character that can kill things from afar, it's hell to be. Uh, and also, I'm not going to be able to use my Daedal Stormbow because it's going to be underground, so I'm going to have to rely on either my Mega Shark, but probably it's going to end up mostly being my Crystal Vial Shard. I, um, I don't know, we have yet to see. This might go, this might go tits down, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see how it, how it goes along the way. Let's just summon my spiders. Also, I could probably... It is a little inconvenient because I need to find a place to plop them down. But there we go. Now I got a 10 minute. That's a good thing. These buffs, most of them anyway, last usually like around 10 minutes. So that's pretty nice. I'm gonna put away all my souls in these absolute messes of chests I have. But just so they don't fill out too much space. I also got a lot more holy arrows, by the way. I even got more unicorn horn um, than I can actually use because I don't have enough arrows to turn into holy arrows. So, But... That's like a, that's sort of a luxury problem, because getting the unicorn was kind of the hardest part in the first place. But, without further ado, let's for the first time actually go into hard mode jungle. Yeah, I think it's actually the first time I've been here. This is gonna suck, man. This is gonna straight up just suck ass, because everything's gonna be after me, and there's gonna be things flying through the walls. This is the place, I think, in hard mode, like just area-wise, where I die the most. Not even hollow, uh, like hollow underground could do me that bad. But of course, what we're looking for is a Plantera Ball, uh, which apparently starts spawning as soon as you defeat all three of the freaking mechanical bosses, so that that that's that should be happening already. But I think... Oh, it's I think it's something about them, like, spawning over time. Ooh, thank you. Freaking brain of confusion. Your buff was amazing, and I am so glad they kept it in the game. Ooh. Because these hornets hurt so bad. Yeah, the moss hornets. And I do no damage to you either. Oh, freaking hell. 
Okay, but yes, we're looking for Plantera bulbs, and the problem is, they actually spawn over time. They only just start sort of spawning. I don't think they spawn in instantly, I think they just start spawning in when you defeat the, the bosses. So it, we might go a while without finding one, which is great, because that means I have more time to just sort of chill around here and try to go find it. At least my spider's helping, that's great, because all of this is like background. So um, my, my spider can crawl around all over the place. Uh, but I'm also looking for chlorophyte, which is actually, I think, the only thing that this pickaxe can actually dig as sort of like a new item. Um, usually can actually just dig the regular stuff. You guys hurt so bad. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot you. Stun knock you. I do not even care. But yes, I also need to go looking for chlorophyte, which I also think only starts spawning as soon as we defeat all the bosses. Um, although I'm not completely sure. So, there's not much we can do before we need to fight Plantera, but there is, a, like, one armor upgrade. I can get, like, a chlorified armor upgrade. And I don't know yet whether or not if I should go for that, or if I should go for the turtle one. Because that one gives a lot of armor, I actually might. Depending on whether or not if I have to cheese my way through the Plantera boss fight. If you guys watch my old Plantera, or, or my old Terraria Let's Play, you're gonna know what I'm gonna try to do if I go melee build on this one, but... I don't know if it works anymore, so I'm- that, that's why I'm- I'm sort of hesitant. I don't know- I- I, I don't think it works anymore. Oh! Wait, it does- it doesn't just start growing! There's a lot of it already! Ooh, okay. Hold on. Just gonna kill you, tortoise. And if you could drop shells for me, that would be even greater. Of course you didn't do that. Um... Oh god! You freaking fell down from the heavens! This place sucks! I'm surprised I haven't even died yet. And I'm- and I just entered. It really is nice that they buffed the summoner class, just so I can have more things to sort of, like, spawn and protect me. Um, oh yeah, wait. Spawning two of them, there we go. Thank you. That's the one thing that's nice about having sort of summon class, I guess, or why would want to go with summon classes, because you can just sort of mind your business while your summoners kill stuff. But yeah, anything new that got added to the jungle, like the, the man trapper, I think it's called, and the moss hornet, those guys do insane damage. I also think the turtles are new. Okay. I think my main strategy is just not getting hit right now, and the brain of confusion is really saving me on that one. What are you? Freaking Indiana Bones. Is that what your name is? Oh, oh, ow, 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 Okay. Please, shell, no. Of course you have low spawn rate. Okay, let's, let's not panic just yet. We've just started. Uh, let's just take it easy. I know it's hard. But let's just chillax. Mine a bit of chlorophyte and feel good about the fact that we're just making progress. Even though it is scary. Oh, oh! Don't shoot at me, Moss Hornet! I'm killing turtles! The freaking... The Brain of Cthulhu is saving my ass. This this item, like everything that spawns or every any item you get from Cthulhu is just... You can't live without it. I have the freaking... I have the Cthulhu shield on me already and we're so far in the game. Oh! Wait! That's a bulb right there! I see it! I see it with my eyes. Okay, hold on. I'm actually gonna spawn you there. Then you guys can kill that slowly. That's a bulb right there. Okay, I need to be careful not to hit that then. Oh, but it's sort of like a shitty location, isn't it? It's not even- is it even in the jungle? It's sort of like halfway in a marble zone. Can I see on the map? If I'm- if there is one. Okay, it's sort of pinkish, but it does not help that I'm colorblind. Um, but at least we found one. I don't know if I'm gonna keep looking for a bit of a better spot. I might, but I don't know. I'm not quite sure on that opinion just yet. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, 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 rock. Go away, Medusa. Do you even drop anything useful? I think you drop your head, but is that like a useful, useful item at this point? How far down are we? Pretty far, actually. That's not good. Okay, okay, okay. I hate this place. Really? No, no, I'm gonna take so much damage. Okay, okay. Jungle sucks ass! I need calming potions just to fight bosses in here. Really? Really, man? Come on! Oh my god! You son of a ba- son, son of a bastard. I'm not, I'm not gonna make the hard heart be word. But man, really? <laughs> Okay, let's take it easy and let, let's think about this like freaking Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu's the art of war. Let's just relax and look into this. So there is 
a pink bulb right there. It's not the most preferable of spots, but then again, I don't really, like, I mean, pickers can be, or what's called pickers can be, cho piggy can be chooser, I, I don't know, I don't know the term, but it basically means that uh, I can't really decide whether or not, I mean, unless I search up here for it, which I doubt there's gonna be one, I think I just have to build, a, build an arena, man. At, at least it's somewhat open, and I know that might not seem like an advantage since a lot of stuff is spawning at the moment, but that means the most of the job has been done for me in terms of, like, building. Also, I, I think I told you guys about this, but it's actually becoming a problem now. With, um, with this. Because I can't spawn to it. Uh, because it's getting corrupted, so that's, that's bad. I really need to get a contaminator or something, but a lot of my character- I, I think- Isn't there room for new characters to spawn? No, there isn't. Okay, that's why. Maybe I should build them- I should probably build them just a quick house. Look, man, I'm, I'm sorry. I promise the rent will be low. <laughs> when uh, when this is what your house is gonna look like, I, I promise. But hey, yeah, you yeah yeah. Look, you have a lovely balcony. You can look at that that wall all you want. I oh, who's gonna be spawning here though? Is it gonna, is it gonna be the steampunker or who else could possibly move in here? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, are you fucking kidding? Look how close to my house Crimson is. I thought. Wait, no 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 no. I thought I was certain. Did it move through my wood? I didn't know it could do that. Okay, well this sucks. I, I'm gonna need a contaminator ASAP. St Steampunk, I'm gonna need you to spawn as soon as possible, please. Have you done that? No, okay, great. Well, guess I'll just, <laughs> guess I'll just go back down to doing what I was doing um, while my world is dying. Go away. All of this is gonna be gone and I'm gonna replace it with hollow. I don't know, maybe. Elidon, the traveling version, I actually wanna see what you have. Because the only thing I'm missing is like, or I think, the only thing I'm missing is, what's it called, an armor, armor, da, da, and a, what, an armor, da, 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 the ammo thing, an ammo spare, whatever. You have nothing. You have this. Actually, it does a lot of damage, actually. Wow, that's actually quite a bit of damage, but. I'm gonna buy it to be sure. Is the chlorophyte I got of any use? Maybe? Oh, it requires six. That's quite a bit. Yeah, I know what that is. Unfortunately, no. It can build me some chlorified arrows, but nothing else. Damn it. At least it feels a bit like I'm learning my way around. Like I'm figuring out what to do. Slowly but surely. I just need to basically stun lock them with this. And then that's the best way to sort of get around. I think. I still don't... I should have brought some Spelunker potions, shouldn't I? Like, when else am I really gonna be mining for anything? Not, not, not really ever, so I should probably just get, like, a Spelunger potion. Okay, but anyways, this is the area. I know there's a lot of stuff that spawns, and that it might seem like absolute crap here. Like, it's a bad neighborhood. But we're gonna try our best to see if we can turn this into a home. Because we gotta. We have no choice. Is there anything that I can use that, like, makes it so there spawns less enemies? Oh, hello, Tom. You sell anything? It's a longer glow stick. I mean, I guess. Uh, what else? Uh, the gradient. I, I don't know what to use this for. You also sell strange brews and stuff, but not really anything particularly useful. Okay, I'm gonna try to... It's a longer glow stick. It doesn't really help much, does it? Oh, here! It actually did help. It sort of told me where I was supposed to go. Okay. Just get into somewhere. Okay, that was actually not that much. I was hoping for more, but still, it helped a little bit. Oh, there. There's more. Oh, and I even forgot I have the freaking... I have the teleporter rod. Yeah, or the teleporter uh, book. Yeah, who even needs freaking... Who, who even needs rod of disordinance or whatever it's called? Like the one item everyone uses to cheese bosses. I probably still need it. Wait, Yillets? This one's awesome! Holy crap, that does 85? Okay, I'm gonna replace my Dao of Power with that. This, this thing's pretty, pretty freaking strong. I actually think I also read that this is one of the strongest uh, yo-yos that you can get. Oh, hello there, Mr. Stupid Turtle. Would you mind giving me your belongings, please? I find it quite fascinating that I can't get a single shell from these gigantic beasts, but... Just means I have to kill more, are ye? Chlorophyte always felt a little unnecessary. Because it's always it was one of those things where, like... Okay, so you get that armor, that's cool. Um, or you get the chlorophyte armor, that's cool. But then, like... Then you defeat Plantera, and then you're immediately on to the next thing. It, it, I don't know. I feel like Chlorophyte is one of the least used sets in the game. 
What is the spawn rate on freaking turtle shells? I'm really surprised that's so hard to come by, but I don't know. I guess they, they felt they needed some reason to make the melee armor unnecessarily hard to get. Hello. Oh, perfect. A longer potion. I could actually... <gasps> oh, even more perfect. A turtle shell. I could use that even more. But I'm going to use this as well, just because I want to see where that goddamn chlorophyll is. There still hasn't spawned the freaking... Why doesn't the lady spawn? The freaking steampunk. I need her. Like, it won't be long before my house becomes uninhabitable, just because of the pure crimson going through it. Either that, or I'll have to build, like, the freaking Berlin Wall <laughs> on, like, the right side, right outside my house. And I don't want to have to do that. It's gonna be ugly, and it's gonna ruin the- it's gonna be, like, brutalist architecture. It's just gonna look like it's meant to ruin nature. And in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, Google brutalist architecture, and you'll see what I mean. It looks very... It's the most dystopian looking uh, architecture style, and there's a re reason it's called Brutalist. This thing's actually pretty awesome. The freaking yo-yo? <laughs> well, I mean, of course, if you gotta go melee, you gotta go yo-yo, I guess. It's the only way you're gonna survive. Okay, I'm going back up. This place is fruitless. There's nothing necessarily in here. I'll I should just be looking up where the freaking the bulb is, so I have a higher chance anyway. Also, by the way, in case you're wondering, like, oh my god, they talk so much. Do they always talk like that throughout that entire two-hour span of recording? No, I don't. Don't worry. Um, it's actually just because most of the Terraria episodes I upload, they're sort of like a smash cut, really, um, of just of, of just different stuff that happens throughout the the span of like two to three hours playtime. Things happen slowly in Terraria, which is completely fine, but it 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 means that it means that there isn't a lot to necessarily put in the video. Maybe I should just practice just talking without anything funny happening. I it's hard. That's why I would become a, a terrible Twitch streamer. See, I could go for the chlorified shot, shot bow as well as I've been recommended. But look at this! Look at the stats. Damage thirty four. Damage 30, 30, 38. Yeah, what what the freaking like? It has slightly more knockback, what else does it have? It has nothing! I guess the only reason you would get this for like the Plantera boss would be because... Um, well, they wouldn't hit like the ceiling or anything, but I could just build a tall arena! And that wouldn't be a... That much of a problem, right? Maybe it... Yeah, it probably would be a problem, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, especially if I fly around in my freaking... Uh, black spot or whatever. I don't think I am gonna because of the, I just don't think there's enough space, but still... Yeah, this might be just ever so slightly better. Also, yes, I do know that I can grow chlorified technically by just placing it like around a bunch of mud, but it's not like I need that much of it. Or like, like, yeah, I can dig it now, but it's not like I'm gonna need a lot later on once I get past the chlorified stage initially. I just sort of, um, yeah, yeah, I just sort of, oh, wait, 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 there's another bulb right there. Where are we? Okay, this might be a little bit of a better spot because I feel like this isn't so in the middle of everything. Oh, wait, I also saw a thing. Hold on. Yes! Life fruit! I completely forgot about life fruit! I need to get, I need to collect those! I just talked about getting a bigger personal health bar and that's the only way I'll do it. Yeah, so now I have... Yeah, five more health. It's not a big increase, granted, but it'll get me where I want to be eventually. Oh, don't hit the thing. Oh, don't hit the thing. Oh, don't hit the thing. For the love of God and all that is holy, do not hit the thing. Also, Hamdrax or Pigaxe Axe Gang? I'm gonna need to know whether or not if we can be friends, so I need you to tell me right now which one is the best. I mean, if you look at what I'm using right now, you could take the hint. Oh, that's a moth. That's a moth. Aren't those- Okay, you got a lot of health on you. It's- Oh, why are you so thick? And was it- what is it with this game and moths? They also spawn during, like, the eclipse, don't they? I don't know. I don't know, I, I just don't want anything to do with it. Um, Anklet of the Wind, I already have that, but do I have a Feral Claw? I feel like I could use that for later, in case I want to cheese this. I'm not saying I am, yet, anyway. Okay, you know what, old man, I'll buy your yo-yo glove and I'll buy your red counterweight. To be honest, I'm surprised you're still down here, so that's the only reason why I'm doing it, just because I'm respecting the hustle so much. Um, but yes, now I have this in case I want to go yo-yo build as well. Oh, turtle shell, yes! Okay, I'm glad I dodged you. Yeah, I've heard your smacks do a lot of damage, but... Now I only need one more. And then I'll have enough for the set. I don't know if I'll have enough Chlorified for it. To be honest. Uh, Chlorified has been hard to get, and I've already wasted my 2 Spelunga potion. So I don't know about that part. But I'll have what I need in terms of the turtle shells. Wow, holy crap, I'm getting just... Gangbustered right now. 
But yes, it actually finally seems like, just because it can maneuver the yo-yo, it almost seems like the Crystal Vile Thorn has met its match. What is that? Tatter B-Wing? Wait, can I make wings out of that? Is that better than Pixie? Because then I might consider it. Well, anyways, nothing to do but really get started, right? I mean, oh hey, look, my buddy's even animated on here. Okay, I can't stay here for too long, otherwise I'll die, but... I'm wondering, what's best? Is it building, like, an arena there or the other place? Like, what's best for me? Oh no. Uh-oh. Well, I might not even get to pick soon. I didn't- what? I lost no health? Did my brain of Cthulhu really save me once again? It's such an awesome item! I'm gonna build it here. Just because for weird reasons I feel like I'm the most in control here. And plus, I won't get ambushed. Freaking trying to... Let's just focus while we're doing this, okay. I don't feel like I have to, what's called, get ambushed every time, or the entire time I'm just building these first stages. I say as turtle spawn. Oh my god. I left the screen for two seconds. Look at that! <laughs> Look at that onslaught of freaking creatures spawn. The spawn rate in the jungle is obscene. It's pervertedly insane. Look at this. Oh my god. If only it could spawn turtles, then I'd be happy, but still. Freaking hell. How am I gonna be ever, ever ever gonna be able to fight like Plantera if if I'm gonna get freaking backstabbed by a moss hornet missile anytime? Oh yeah, and I could, don't don't even get me started on the man eaters. I just saw one of you spawn. Freaking gonna be reaching out from the walls, grabbing my ass. Maybe this is one of those situations where I should also bring like the dryad, um, or perhaps like the nurse. I know that the nurse's freaking fees are expensive as hell. Uh, they changed that in the update, but. <laughs> It's almost like American healthcare over here, but um, but still, I don't know. Maybe I could bring the dryad down here, and she'd give me like a buff, and then perhaps the nurse in case things go bad. I don't think Plantera has anything that can reach through walls except itself. So as long as I just place them sort of by the wayside here, with a wall in between, and just go over and quickly heal, it shouldn't cause too many issues, right? Especially if I have auto pause on. Stop. But is that cheesy? Is that something that people would dislike if I did? I mean, I feel like almost anything, to be honest, almost anything is valid when it comes to the freaking master mode. They, the developers intentionally did their absolute hardest to just make this a nightmare. So, I don't know, I mean, that might be a strategy to consider. Oh, wait, he dropped it, he dropped it, he dropped it. Yes, yes, ooh, yes, I dropped, okay, now I have three of them. Does that mean that I can actually go back? Because I think I need to go back anyway, I need more torches and everything, really. So let's just go back home. Go back home. This isn't gonna be the last time I go home, though, because I don't think I'm gonna pick up all the potions and stuff. Um, what can I do with the yo-yo stuff, though? I can combine it with this, which I don't know if it'll help me, but I can make a lot of br mud brick houses if that's what I want. Uh, I'm gonna throw away probably... I'm just gonna stash all this in my uh, in my chest just to see. Uh, I'm wondering what can I get from the strange plants though? I always kind of throw them away because I never really use them for anything, but if it says it can make cool dyes, I want to be flashy. I want to be cool. Uh, what can you give me? Strange plant. Yes. Glowing mushroom dye. What? What? Really? Whoa, that is fungi. Or sh yeah, did I say fungi? Fungi. Huh. I made the joke without even noticing it. I'm gonna collect- I'm gonna collect more of this stuff. This seems cool. I wanna experiment more with dyes. I never really have in Terraria, so that's real. That's sort of a shame. Now be not the time for those hijinks. Now be the time for me to see whether or not if I have enough to craft this entire thing. Please... no, I... wait. Yes, I do! Yes, I do! Okay, yeah, I just need to craft a lot more clover. Yeah, I do! Okay, oh, I'm glad. I was wondering how much I needed to freaking do this stuff. Okay, uh, yes. Now, question is, do I need, like, a... Wait, Venom Staff? Venom Staff? Summon some Venom thing. That might be something I use later. I didn't know I could upgrade the freaking Poison Staff, but now I know. I don't know if it's that good, but I could potentially use it. But do I need the Chlorify... 200 pigx power... 200 pig... Okay, no, it's just, a, it's just a speed upgrade. It doesn't do anything else, so that's fine. I can live without that. Let's go with the Chlorified... Shot bow. 
Unreal. Yes. That's a freaking great start. Okay, so I'm gonna use this instead of the Daedalus Stormbow, just because I don't see myself building an arena that's large enough for me to actually use it. But um, hey, now I can replace my armor with this. That should give me a little more survivability, right? Yes, hold on. Reduces damage, take my 50. Yes. This is great. <sighs> okay, now I have all the potions that I can really get. Um, this is a, this is as far in as far all in as I could really go. So I don't know if if I can't do it with this, I don't know if my strategy just overall isn't gonna work. Oh wait, I don't even need the pad thai. I have pizza. <laughs> Who would eat Thai food when you have pizza lying around the house? Hold on, I gotta gra take another grab at my pizza pie or pizza cake. Sorry, huge difference. But this thing is freaking awesome. It just gives me a huge mining boost, and I can just absolutely tear through this arena. <laughs> Funny thing is, I could technically put up the sign that says this mine was dug out by hand or anything. Uh, but that becomes a lot less impressive when the one person working on it was probably on or was on meth. Which is what I'm assuming what is what that cake was laced with. Oh hello bone man. I didn't <laughs> notice you here. Is my area really becoming that big that everything just decides that it's its home now? I don't know. I don't like it. But my arena is somewhat big now. So the question is, should I try? Like, I don't know, maybe I, sh maybe I should build a bunch of wooden platforms, but... Like, is how much of a difference is that even gonna make? Come on, Scripps, or Hooter Booter. I'm sorry, I forget that's what I named this character. I named them Hooter Booter. Um, we can do this. I only, yeah, I, know, I only think I need one big platform because I think I can just fly around um, from the bottom and then up and it'll be fine. But I want this one platform in the middle because then I can also put a bunch of my... What's it called? Well, like, it's okay, I'm not gonna move that. I'm just gonna keep that there, that that looks fine. It doesn't matter if there's water down here really to, to me. Okay, it does, Never mind. I thought I could just sprint on top of it, but for some reason it decides to be annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna build a layer here. But then we're also pretty close to done with the arena. I know that probably I'm putting more effort into the arenas than maybe other YouTubers. I don't know, not like actual dedicated like uh, Terraria YouTubers. I know they put freaking hours into this stuff, but other regulars who just try their luck at hard mode, but I want to try and see if I can do this right. And plus, potions aren't fun to farm. So this is gonna be it. Whether or not this is gonna be this is gonna be the one attempt. No, ma no matter, no matter what happens, this is this is gonna be it. Unless I want to make it a little longer. No, don't don't get enticed by it. Look how much time it took just to dig out that this area. I'm not gonna do it again. Okay, should we try? Should we try our best? Okay, okay. Just building up the nerve. Get all these. Get this. And then... Let's see... Oh, it spawned. Plantera has awoken. Oh, there you are. Hello. Okay. You're not too bad. You're not too bad. You're not too bad. I, I think my... Oh, okay. You're actually shooting a lot of things at me. Luckily, it seems like the stars are flying through stuff. Oh crap, there's one little grass block there, I need to pay attention to that. Okay, hit me for the- okay, 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 don't get hit. God damn it, I'm missing small blocks everywhere! God, that's annoying, okay. Uh, fuck, those small blocks, okay, 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 I'm just gonna- just gonna- Go away, go away, oh my god, go away! Are you kidding me?! Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Is it because- oh, maybe he's spawning them? I don't know. Okay. Be careful of those freaking balls, though. They're insane. But yes, just keep a distance. That's how I'm gonna do this. Oh, wow, wow, wow. He's on half health? Okay. Okay, this is gonna- this might hurt. Okay, he is fast. He moves fast, but I am faster. I am the Black Dot. I am the Black Dot. Those platforms might actually not have helped me at all. They might have just given him more- him more leeway to- do that. Okay. It's fine though. 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 It seems fine. Oh crap. This is bad. I get drive-by shot. No! 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 I was so close! Are you kidding me? Oh, the fucking stupid blocks! I expected to lose, actually. That's how I went into that fight. I went into that fight expecting to lose, but now that I know I have a chance to win, you can't just- now you can't take it away from me. I- I- I gotta. So, I did it. 
Okay, yes. I went out and I got a life force potion. I hate fishing. I stand by it. I will forever. Till the day they put me in the grave, I will. the last words I will say and stand by is Remember my opinion on fishing in Terraria. It sucks ass. But yeah, actually, you didn't just get a life force potion. I got a calming potion as well, which should hopefully help me in the future. Um, I'm not gonna go down here just yet, but one thing I will pop as soon as As soon as I use those hold on. I'm gonna use a calming potion uh, I'm still curious to see Like whether or not if I'll make it back here before I get attacked. I don't know. It could be I'm not gonna um, But yeah, I went sort of all in with these different uh, Or I, I got these potions specifically because I was like you know what? It's only gonna get harder. Uh, I have no idea where the next Pantera bulb might spawn, and I'm lucky that this one is somewhat close. So that's why. Heal up. Um, it's fine if it doesn't. If it, if it's fine if freaking. If I still have to wait a little bit. I just need to be able to to heal, and then I'm I'm ready to do this. Go away. Oh, you suck ass. Okay, this is the best that I'm gonna get. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, you could not have spawned in a worse spot, young man. You could not. Oh. Fuck off! Okay, Jesus, come on, come on. Jesus, come on. Uh, no. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Get back up here, you bastard. You willy-nilly. Come on, 